Hey there, in this video I'm going to tell you about my five goals for this week as well as kind of walk you through my schedule and show you how I plan on achieving those goals. And if that's interesting, I hope you'll keep watching. Hello and thanks for watching. My name is Christiana and my channel is The Well-Behaved Wallet where I talk about mindset, motivation, and making or saving money. So in this video, I'm going to kind of walk you through my goals for the week, uh, show you my schedule, and also how I use my plum paper planner to plan my life because I know I love seeing how people lay out their weeks on their planners and what they use the different like blocks for um, in this, in the, especially in this planner. Um, and for me, it's very functional. Like I love... Um, this, this is just functional. It's not pretty. It's not, there are not a lot of stickers. There's not washy. It's just, this is just sort of bare bones. So here is what my layout looks like. Uh, and I will also kind of insert a, a screenshot. This is where, ooh, this is where I write my goals. This is where I write down my sort of like affirmations, things to remember. And then this is where I put my schedule and I'll like write down um, scheduled events here. I'll write down things I want to keep track of over here. And then I will write down kind of like interesting things to remember uh, over here. <laughs> so that is my planner. I absolutely love this planner. It took me a while to come back around to it because I had one in 2016 and I didn't love it. Um, but this is the perfect size. It's the seven by nine. It's a little bit smaller. It's not huge. And it's perfect to kind of carry with me and be able to um, a, keep uh, uh, like track things. Um, items, events, <laughs> happenings throughout the week. Uh, B, keep myself on track schedule-wise on track schedule -wise and make sure that I am um, hitting, I am where I need to be and, and I'm sort of looking ahead and planning um, ahead for the week. So, okay, so getting into my five goals for the week. They are, um, and this touches on money mindset and um, motivation. Five goals are as follows. I want to post a video every day. That's one of my goals. I, um, I'm aiming for a certain amount in my eBay sales, and to do that, I aim to at least uh, to list at least two items and to interact with my store uh, at least once every day. Uh, three, I am going to put a new blog post up. By the time this video goes live, there will already be at least one blog post up on my blog, so I will link to that down below. Um, number four is to write something every day. I had a practice of writing at least 500 words, and I carried that on from, I would say, 2007. Through to 2016, I kind of lost that, but I am getting back into it now. Um, and it's just, it's a very meditative, relaxing process for me. So I aim to keep that up. And then number five is to, um, kind of going back and forth on this one. It's a health and wellness goal. I aim to take at least two to three yoga classes a week. Um, so that is a goal as well as I'm also aiming to drink more green smoothies and get those micronutrients in. So that's one of those goals for number five. Um, one of those two things, either drink a green smoothie every day or go to at least two to three yoga classes a week. We'll see which one works out. Um, so just to kind of give you, so those are my five goals. And to kind of give you a background on my goal setting process, I got kind of burnt out for a while. Like I'm looking through my book um, and you can see like I did not do it. I've not done it in a while. Um, I was really good January, February, March. Then I fell off toward April and May. Um, see, it was okay in April. June, um, let me see how I did. May, I'm doing okay. May, I did okay. Um, but here's the thing. So May, I did not do okay. I lie. Um, I find planning and don't seem terrible. Um... <laughs> I find that keeping track in a paper planner is super helpful for me to see sort of where my mindset has been over over time. Um, and it helps me to anticipate kind of where I'm going to go into a slump and to be able to do things that will pull me out of it and to have a good, strong process and routine in place that will help keep me in a good place. So I find that just the process of setting goals, even if I don't make them all, is very, very helpful to me. Um, just to keep me thinking and on the mindset of where I need to go in order to do what I want to do. So those are my goals. I, um, yeah, that's, and how I plan to do them. So I'll kind of walk you through my schedule as well. So I work nine to five. I have a day job. Um, and then I teach. So Monday I will teach at 530 at a studio. I teach uh, viola lessons at a studio. Then on Tuesday, uh, we have a work trip, day trip to Philly. So nothing on uh, Tuesday. I actually have a lesson um, so I'm glad I'm doing this. I have a lesson uh, with my private student that I teach privately, so I need to confirm that with him. Um, and it's just a joy. I, I love teaching. 
Um, Wednesday, I have a meeting uh, with some colleagues on the symphony board that I am part of um, to kind of review our numbers and, and subscribership basis and base and how we are looking to grow going forward. So that's on Wednesday. On Thursday, I teach again at a studio after work. And then Friday, I'm off, meaning I just have the day job. Um, so that's good. <laughs> But on, th on Friday, I've started taking an evening yoga class, which is a wonderful way to start the weekend. Um, and then on Saturday, I'm super excited because I have my first mentorship call. So I have, um, I'm starting a mentorship program with a woman that I've been following since 2012. So I'm super excited. I, I'm doing three um, hour long sessions with her. And I'm really hoping that this will help kind of take me to the next level in life and business and work and love. Um, so I will for sure keep you posted on that. Um, so that is on Saturday, and I'm looking forward to that greatly. And then Sunday, I usually, I aim to have as my rest day. Um, yeah, so that is the plan for this week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I would love to know your plans for this week ahead, kind of what you are aiming to get done, um, and, and how you goal set and plan your week out. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you'll keep watching. Bye!